Hello, ha! Top of the morning, friends and family. How you wonderful, beautiful people doing today? On this channel, we upload beautifully edited cinematic masterpieces. This video is uncut. And in today's uncut, well, first, I'd like to give a shout out to our sponsors uh, right over there. Morph Market, Freedom Breeder, Redline Shipping. Redline, use code, code, coupon code ROBIN60 when you check out for your first two shipments at redline.com. Redlineshipping.com, that is. Morph Market, if you haven't grabbed the Morph Market app yet to check out how well that's working, you definitely should do that. Lots of new features being added constantly on Morph Market. Uh, Freedom Breeder, of course, best snake racks, breeding racks, period. If you're doing rodents, ball pythons, best quality possible, best quality you could possibly get, nothing better. Um, all right, before we dive into the meat of this video, which is going to be two part. A, checking out my, my snakes down there. M Mama just hatched some baby eggs that she's got her coils around and we're gonna check those babies out. And I also wanted to talk about uh, new developments with the FWC, all the stuff that's happening over there in Florida with the uh, snakes that were killed on uh, Holy Thursday or Unholy Thursday, whatever people are referring to it as. Before I do any of that, I'd like to apologize for not having a video for you guys this past Saturday. I was up on the mountaintop with no service from Friday to Sunday, and so therefore I didn't have anything for you. And I apologize, I didn't even make an announcement that I wouldn't have that video up for you guys, but maybe this video, <laughs> We'll definitely have a video for you this Saturday. In fact, I was talking with Clint because he saw my last video. Uh, Clint over at Clint's Reptiles, Mr. Laidlaw, gentleman and a scholar, literally. I was thinking about, well, he was thinking about like what I should start doing with my channel. And as far as, and we talked about music, we, brain, we brainstormed a bunch of stuff. And I, I just might take him up on some of his ideas. So, because they kind of mesh with my own anyway. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. Definitely we'll have a video for this Saturday, maybe showing off the entire clutch that's down here below because we don't have the whole thing. Okay, let's get into the first thing here. To talk about the updates with what's happening over at FWC. Um, I'm not gonna do like a full review or breakdown of the footage. I think that Nerd and Detective Donnie over there did a really good job of breaking down the footage and they basically, if you didn't know, they released one of the officer's body cam footage so you get to see a little bit more of behind the scenes details of what was said and what was happening, what a little more like from the officer's perspective. And I think Donnie over on the Nerd channel, there'll be a link in the description if you haven't seen that already. I just wanted to have our audience here know about that. Um, of course, US Arc and US Arc Florida YouTube channels will always be keeping updates on that. Somebody's calling me right now. Let's see if it's, oh, it's Hillary. I should probably answer that. Hi, I'm filming an uncut video. Uh, would you like to? Oh, what? what? What's that? Wondering the name of the place where you did the smog because America West Tire and Auto doesn't do them. Was it West Coast something? Yeah, it's across the street. It's right over like Kitty Corner from uh, or on the same side of the street as. West Coast Auto and Towing. No, I yeah, that's more. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Sorry. Bye. Bye. Anyway, they're, they're truly uncut videos. So. Donnie, nerd, video over there. I, I don't think I would do a better job of breaking down the video or explaining that. And I, I honestly don't really want to watch that footage over and over or dive too deep into it because it's depressing. But I do at least want to tell you that there have been updates if you didn't know already. And there are plenty of places that you can see the actual footage with those updates if you want to kind of catch up on, on what's going on. Especially if you happen to be in Florida a week from today, they're having a hearing not just about that case, but a general hearing with FWC, and it's open to the public. In fact, there's a link down in the description if you want to tune in and, and listen. You can't participate virtually. You can only participate in person. And I would encourage any of you folks that are going there to participate in person, go with your opinions firm and strong and respectfully. You know, we really want, this is, this is a big moment here for the whole nation of the reptile keeping hobby. Um, we have a lot of attention right now. I think that we should put our best foot forward, not fly off the handle, because nothing really gets accomplished that way. You know, obviously, lots of folks out here are passionate about what's been happening and about reptiles, of course, and we don't want that passion to burn bridges, I think. I think that would be the smart move, is while we have the attention, put the best foot forward and uh, just do our best to 
again, stand firm in believing and knowing that what's happening is absolutely horrendous and wrong and be reasonable at the same time and not flap the handle, if that makes sense. I just, I just like to really encourage everybody and anybody to do that, no matter what it is you're passionate about. You know, if, if, if you're coming off the handle and you're flying out angry, even if it's understandable, even if the rage is justified, it doesn't work well to win over an opposing side. So I just want to encourage everybody with that um, again. That's, that's what I try to do in my own life is if I have something I really strongly really believe in, try to do the whole uh, honey attracts more bees than vinegar type of thing. You know, you know that old saying. And it, it does work. You know, if, if, if somebody, if you have somebody's respect, if, somebody, if you want somebody to actually listen to you, you need to feel like they respect you or they need to feel like they can respect you. If they don't respect you, they're not going to listen to you at all, ever, generally. I don't think I've ever listened to anybody that I didn't respect. It's like, yeah, 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 let's keep it moving, buddy. Um, yeah, so anyway, just want to encourage you guys with that. And again, links in the description if you want to see more detailed updates than I'm giving you here on this video. And let's take a look at this clutch. Best of luck to everyone, actually, that's attending that meeting next week. And I'll do a reminder on next week's Uncut video as well. Oh, it's a beautiful clutch of babies. It's just beautiful. So I really have been enjoying putting mom or leaving the eggs with mom. Um, actually, before we take it too close again to that, I did have a couple of her eggs that rolled out, so I put them in the incubator. And interesting thing this time is that they're actually hatching about the same time. This one egg here that was in the incubator actually hatched out after the eggs that are with mom. Um, obviously still kind of at the same time, because there's still some eggs under mom that are not hatched yet. So they're all kind of hatching right around the same time, which is different than what happened last time. This actually, the same, same rack here, um, I had another clutch from the bamboo female up top there, and sh her eggs that she kept hatched out like three weeks later than the eggs that were in the incubator over there. So it's just interesting that this time around, for whatever reason, uh, the eggs are all hatching more closely together, time-wise. But let's get back over here, check out mom, who is Violet. The Purple Passion, also known as a Phantom Mojave. Um, those are the genetics as far as the traits and then the super form they call Purple, purple Passion, which is cool. That's why I named her Violet. And she was paired with Bullwinkle, who is our pastel, super pastel actually, super pastel Lesser. And so since Lesser and Phantom and Mojave are all in the Blue-Eyed Leucistic Complex, which this animal right here is technically a blue-eyed leucistic animal. Even though she's not all white like you expect, like these babies are, she's still a blue-eyed leucistic uh, complex animal, super form. So a bell, so to speak, purple passion. And these snakes are all gonna be, all the white snakes are going to guaranteed be lesser on one side of the chromosome. And the other half will be either Phantom or Mojave, and the only way to know for sure is with some genetic testing, which isn't available for those traits, I don't believe. We're more likely to breed them out and see if Mojaves or Phantoms pull out from either of those snakes. But they're all guaranteed for pastel because father was super pastel, of course. We got what looks like a pastel Mojave kicking back there. Hopefully we got some pastel Phantoms in the clutch as well so we can compare. It actually might be a Phantom, actually, not a Mojave. We'll, we'll double check when they shed out. But... Just wanted to share that with you guys. It's such a beautiful thing every time we get to see some baby snakes hashing out. Those of us that really, really are intrigued by reptiles, I mean, this is one of the most beautiful things you can witness in reptile keeping, you know, other than changing people's minds and making them feel okay with snakes. Uh, for somebody who already is in that boat, really loves and appreciates snakes, well, this is about the best moment you can witness. So just wanted to share that with you guys. And... Once they're all out of the egg, maybe by this weekend, we'll do a whole update and show them all and in all their beauty and, and grace, grace, and beauty and grace. That's, yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. Beauty and grace. I'm trying to pick out one of the babies right now. There we go. What's up, little baby? Uh, it's adorable. Little tiny. Oh, look at them eyes. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, guys. Well. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other. I was thinking about singing a little bit right now and I, I'm deciding against it. So for those of you that can't stand somebody singing a cappella, you're welcome. For those of you that really wanted to hear it, I apologize, but I'm out of here. Guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. We'll see you on the next video. Aloha.